Hello and welcome to Shure. We are filming today in some rented spaces in a co-working environment in Paris at La Défense. Um, we've decided to choose these rooms because they are generic rooms. They're not the best acoustically. They've got metal walls, metal ceilings, typical tables, windows in front of me, carpet on the ground. Acoustically, these are not perfect. There is no acoustical treatment, but we thought, you know what? This is the typical type of room that integrators are faced with every day, day in, day out, where no acoustics have been taken. So you know what? Let's see what we can do in this room and what we can. This room here is the large room. We've got a number of different seating arrangements around here and we will be showing you a little map, a little plan to give you an idea of dimensions of the room. The purpose of these videos is to allow you to listen and hear what our different microphone solutions are like. We are using a webcam with an integrated microphone as a baseline for the recording. And then we will also be recording simultaneously our MXA 310 solution, our MXA 710 solution, and the MXA 910 singing microphone solution, of course. Okay, what we've done is on this table, we've got a fairly large table. We've decided to place three MXA 310s on the table. The three different mic microphones are configured slightly differently. The two MXA 310s at both ends of the table are configured with three cardioid lobes and the MXA 310 in the middle is configured with four lobes capturing both sides of the table. The auto mix output of these three MXA 310 is then fed via the Dante network into a P300 which is the Shure Audio DSP and we've recorded a single output of that Shure P300 and that is what you are listening to now. On the ceiling, we've got, of course, the MXA 710 solution. In this room, based on the size of the table and the number of seats in the room, we've decided to place two of the MXA 710 in a two-foot arrangement. We could have placed an MXA 710 four-foot in the center, and that would have covered the table, the room, beautifully, but we've reserved that place for our MXA 910, which you will listen, you will hear in just a few seconds. The MXA 710s are both configured equally. We've configured them with three different lobes. So we've split the table roughly in half, which three lobes with each 710. And these six lobes are then being sent via the Dante network to the Shure P300. The Shure P300 does the auto mix, and then a single output is what is being recorded, and that is what you are listening to now. You are now listening to me coming from the MXA 910 simming microphone. The MXA 910 is configured with eight lobes. We've configured it with three lobes on either side of the table and a single lobe at each extremity of the table. These eight lobes are sent via the Dante network to the Shure P300. The Shure P300 does the auto mix, applies noise reduction, and then we are using a single output of that, and that is what we have recorded, and that is what you are listening to. Now I'd like to give you an opportunity to listen to the three different microphone solutions in a more actual, let's say, um, environment. Because in a meeting, people typically don't just sit in the same place at the whole time. They often stand, walk around the room, to one side of the, diff of the room, and then of course they'll move across the different room, they'll go to a whiteboard, and maybe they'll do some kind of a presentation. They may move over to the video screen in order to point something out if they don't necessarily have a video pointer. And this is to show you that no matter where we are in the room, the autofocus technology built into the MXA 710 and the MXA 910 allows the microphone to track the speaker and follow them, not follow them all over the place, obviously that's not part of our technology, but it allows us, it allows the microphone to capture the speaker in its best possible place and make slight adjustments to the low position so that even if we move around in the room, the sound is picked up properly and sent off to the site. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that the video has been helpful to you to understand the differences in the pickups and to hear the differences in the three different solutions that we've presented, of course, in comparison to a bass microphone. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. We've got two other videos that I would invite you to watch, one in a smaller room and one in a medium-sized room. And until then, take care.